I want to take a moment and say congratulations to all of our youth who participated in our IT Fundamentals program. You guys are not only better qualified for some amazing jobs, but you are now certified. Congratulations to all of you and ready to take that into wherever you're headed. So that certification can get you some college credit, some awesome points on your resume. And of course, the experience you had in class was amazing. You guys are going to have a um, beautiful future. Don't let anything get in your way. One of our students was so excited to to really just get through the experience and to pass their exam. But she said to me she was disappointed in her score. And one, amazing work ethic. She knew that she was capable of more. She wanted to excel beyond just passing and getting through it, but she wanted to make sure that she had a great score. This is what I wanna to say to all of you. Anybody of any age who has ever taken a test, if you pass, you pass. Now, there are always ways that we can improve on what we're doing. There are ways that we can know more, stay knowledgeable, stay competitive. But when it comes to certifications, especially the ones we're familiar with, CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft, if you can achieve the score that they are looking for, whether it is what I call the perfect score, which is the exact number that they're looking for, or you achieve an actual perfect score, which then you probably cheated, it's okay. Well, not cheating. Cheating's not okay. But getting a score that's passing is okay no matter where it is on that scale. When you are certified, you are certified. And that shouldn't be the end of your learning. That shouldn't be the end of your studying. That should be the start of a journey for you and the next step of your career. So if you got five points above necessary or 500 points above necessary, certified is certified. Put it on your LinkedIn put it on your resume, turn it into money, and enjoy the fact that you have made a major accomplishment. You have achieved your certification. I myself have gotten, um, I've gotten mad at myself for that exact same thing when I got my A plus and my net plus, I wanted to do better. I thought my score could have been higher. And you know what now? If I get 675 out of 900 and I needed 675 out of 900, I'm really happy. That means I can put that uh, frustration and the anxiety and all that behind me and I can say, whew, I got this done. I can look at the points that I didn't do well in and I can strengthen my knowledge, but I can put it into action and I can say I achieved another certification. And that is a huge moment. Don't take away from it because there are things that you could improve on. Take it for the awesome accomplishment it is. I want to let everyone know that our high school students did an amazing job. They all got great scores. They exceeded our expectations. And so can you set a goal for yourself, achieve it and enjoy the accomplishment, turn it into the goals that you want to progress. So if you want a certification so that you can get a better job, get the better job. If you want a certification so that you can change careers, make it happen and let us know how we can help support you. Talk to you soon.